Hello and welcome to the very first episode of the Hornet Report this year. Buzzing in, I'm Sienna Rampula. And I'm Jess D'Agostino. We are so excited to be back at the Anchor Desk for another year. Everything's kind of falling into place right now, isn't it? I just got my license, finally. All of our sports teams are absolutely killing it and Homedale just seems to be happy all around. It's the perfect beginning to our last year. Completely agreed. I'm having an awesome start to my senior year so far, despite the absolutely ridiculous stress that comes with college applications. But I think the school year is looking to be pretty promising. For sure. All right, Jess, let's start the show. The stories this episode are the first annual Dash Redoubt 5K run, the very first home football game. Chris Hyun and Victoria Whittle discovered Homedale spirit in the form of pirates. Plus, our favorite sports anchor, Jack Samer, returns with the buzz in Homedale sports, including highlights from our football game against RBR. Jess and I will tell you what's happening outside the nest. Jess? Thanks, Anna. Dash for Dowd, as most of you already know, was an event I collaboratively planned with high-tech students Alok and Arun, along with Mr. Dowd. I want to take this opportunity to once again thank everyone who contributed in some way, shape, or form to make this race a reality. We ultimately raised $25,000 from this race that will be donated to the ARVD Research Organization at Johns Hopkins University. Without further ado, here's Sienna at the first annual Dash for Dowd. Hi, I'm Sienna Rampula here at the Dash for Dowd. Let's have some fun. On September 8th, Homedale came together to Dash for Dad to honor the life of our friend, Jack. Complete with a kids fun run and adult run, people of all ages were dashing for Dowd. I think it's going to be a, a tough run, but I think we could do it and I think it'll be a good time. Soon after the speeches and national anthem, the race commenced. Lap are you guys on? This is our third lap. Yeah. Alright, how are you feeling? Great. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Over 500 participants came out to show their support, and I've never seen people having this much fun running. I've done a lot of races, and the turnout for this one, being that it's his first year, is incredible. And the, the fact that everyone came was just so nice. Thank you to, to everyone that came. I spoke to organizers Alok Maholtra, Arun Mova, and our very own Jesse Agostino about the magic behind Dash Redoubt. So Mr. Dad, when he was talking, he made it seem like you guys all had the idea first. Can you guys talk about that? So we had kind of talked about it a little bit, um, and then I think we all just individually came to him about it. Um, and then he reconnected us, and we kind of formed a squad and started really planning and making it happen. <laughs> After the event, I got a chance to speak with Mr. Dowd about the purpose of the run. So where is the money going to? Uh, all the money, all the proceeds from the race and from donations that were made and sponsors, all of it's going directly to Johns Hopkins Institute. They have a Heart Institute down there that specifically um, puts the money towards research for ARVD. Is there anything you'd like to say to the people who donated or the people who ran? Um, I did send out through some local media a thank you, but just literally thank you to everybody from top to bottom to help to plan, to volunteer, to donate, to sponsor, to come out and pick things up, to clean up, to say just keep the change, don't worry about it, can I buy a shirt, I don't have to run. Um, it's really extraordinary. Any last words to the camera? Um, go Hornets. <laughs> I'm tired and I'm ready to go home. The turnout was absolutely amazing. Thanks everyone for coming and I'll see you in the studio. Hey guys, I'm back in the studio. I think Dash for Dowd really sparked school spirit because the energy was electric at the season opening football game and the crowd was nothing like anyone's ever seen before. We had baby powder, towels to swing, chants from the nest, and people dressed as... Well, I'll let Christiane and Victoria Whittle give you the scoop. Girls? What's buzzing, Homedale? It's Chris and Whittle here at the first home game of the Hornets football season. We're currently under the new stadium lights here at the Rocky Field, and Homedale's about to kick off their season with a win at the home game. And apparently there's some pirates in the crowd. Are you ready, everyone? <laughs> First game of the 
football season tonight. How is it like to be part of the nest? Listen, I lead the nest, okay? This is my nest. If everybody's not loud, I swear to God, I'm going to use the sword. That's all I got to say. What's <laughs> the name of your parrot? Oh, he's Clifford. That's Clifford, uh, the parrot. Yeah, he's here to cheer on the team. So, what's it like to be at your first home game as principal of Homedale High School? This is crazy exciting. Looking at the crowd, we've got hundreds of people here. Out cheering on the team, it's 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 awesome to be a part of this. How would you guys describe the energy tonight? Amazing! Amazing, outstanding. We have a big turnout tonight and it's nice to have all the school spirit. So many people I couldn't even park in the parking lot. Everyone's excited, cheering loudly, and the stands are packed. Thanks girls, that game was unlike any other. I don't ever think I've seen that much school spirit. It's a shame we lost, but the stands were packed, the nest was filled with pirates, and the air was painted white with baby powder. Let's keep it that way, guys. Now over to Jack Samet with the highlights of the football game. Jack? Thanks, Jess. Man, does it feel good to be back. School's in session, and so is the football season. And by the looks of it, this year is going to be an exciting one. The team kicked off their season with a big win over Manchester, but then lost to RBR 28-25 on the last play of the game. Patrick Gary was there to get all of the nail-biting action, along with Jess Duff. Patrick? Hello, I'm Patrick Gary, the Homedale High School football game. As Homedale looks to go 2-0 and beat Red Bank Regional, as this is their first home game of the season, and everyone is excited. Looks like we'll have a good season. Homedale loses a heartbreaking 28-25 against Red Bank Regional with a last-minute touchdown. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Patrick. In other sports news, boys soccer has been killing it. The boys won their first four games and haven't let up a single goal yet. Keep up the good work. The girls' soccer team is also on a roll, winning three of their first five games. Keep it up, girls. The volleyball team has a winning record of 4-3, and, and the girls' tennis team is dominating as always with their 5-1 and one record. I'm Jack Samet, and that's the buzz in Homedell Sports. Thanks, Jack. Lastly, here's your first look outside the nest this school year. Up first, the world is watching as more information continues to surface regarding the possible approval of Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh. There have been a number of reports and accusations that have tainted Kavanaugh's reputation and credibility as a good candidate. More to come as a vote will take place Wednesday, September 26th, deciding whether or not Kavanaugh's nomination will be moved to the Senate floor. Sienna? Thanks, Jess. Hurricane Florence has been recently classified as a thousand-year hurricane, not because it happens every a thousand years, but because the flooding scene has a 0.1% chance of happening in any given year. South Carolina Governor Henry McMaster requested federal support for Hurricane Florence as the rainfall and flooding in North Carolina sent large amounts of water into South Carolina. McMaster said the damage in the northeastern part of South Carolina will surpass anything recorded in modern history. Everyone in the Carolinas, stay safe. 
Thanks, Sienna. That's all we have for this year's first edition of The Hornet Report. Be sure to follow us on all of our social media. Our Instagram and Twitter is at HHS Hornet Report, and our Snapchat is at Hornet Report. See you later. I'm Sienna Rampula. And I'm Jess D'Agostino. We end our show with more scenes from the Dash for Dad fundraiser. Join us next week where we'll bring you this week's best at HHS.